So most traders won't plan for this, but I want to make sure that you do. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechPad Solutions, and tomorrow is the PPI report, which is the producer price index report, which is for the inflation side on the producing side of things. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. Again, this is very similar like the CPI report, but the CPI is based off of the consumer. PPI is based off of the producer. This is going to be released one hour before the market opens, but even before before then, again, I want to share with you the series of economic reports that are going to be released during this pre-market session. The first two are initial claims and continuing claims. These are all released one hour before the market opens at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Initial claims are the number of people that are filing for unemployment for the first time. Continuing claims are people for, that continue to file for unemployment. And based off of what is expected, the market will react to the economic data. Again, one hour before the market opens, there's going to be the PPI and core PPI report as well as retail sales. The reason that this is important is, again, a lot of people view when it comes down to the PPI report as a tool to be able to forecast future CPI reports. Because if we're seeing inflation go up or go down on the producing side of things, then again, that gets passed down to the consumer. So it's going to be important to pay attention to that PPI report, not because it's going to be super, super significant to the overall market, because ultimately, although today's CPI report that was released uh, one hour before the market opened was not super reactive to the overall market, um, everyone's always going to have more focus on the consumer side of things. But for people like you and I that are trying to make sure that we better prepare for a you know better tomorrow, um, we can take that PPI report and based off of what is actually reported, uh, be able to make calculated decisions for up and coming CPI data reports. So again, one hour before the market opens, one of the most important reports that's going to be released tomorrow is going to be that PPI report, which you can find at bls.gov forward slash PPI. Uh, the market will react instantly to it. So again, if you haven't done so already, the overall NASDAQ market should either see a gap down or a gap up depending on the market's current forecast and also what is actually reported. Remember, right now a big focus for the overall market is what the Federal Reserve is going to do based off of this different economic data that is going to be presented on a weekly basis. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, I hope that you do not hesitate to shoot me a direct message either via Discord or via Instagram, and that's the first or third link in the description down below. But I want to make sure that if you do wake up pre-market, that you see the market up or down, that you don't ask the question, well, what just happened, right? Now you'll know based off of those series of economic reports that it's probably something that was reported that is acting as either a positive or negative catalyst for the overall stock market. Again, I hope to see you for tomorrow's live trading session. We do have, I think, three spots left. Last time I checked, it's the second link in the description down below. It's $175 off. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access, and you'll get to watch me trade live every single day. On top of that, you also get access to our A to Z video lesson library that's designed for complete beginners. It's all inclusive. It's the only service that I offer. I offer nothing else. So if you like the way that I break things down, if it's simple enough for you and you want the ability to watch me trade live every day, then again, take two minutes, click the second link in the description down below. And I hope to see you tomorrow for our live session. Hope that earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.